watching Good Morning San Diego. And Lene Lewis is live in Point Loma this morning where the Navy is showing off some of their new technology that not only helps during wartime, but also a natural disaster. Good stuff there. New this morning, Navy teams and first responders are demonstrating their latest technologies. It's all to help us win wars and deal with natural disasters. Let's go to Lene Lewis live at the Spay War System Center in Point Loma to see what's happening. Good morning, Lene. Hi, good morning, Sandra. There is a lot of activity here, a lot of new technology that we're learning about this morning. And with me is Joe Anacito, who's been telling me a little bit about it so far. This is really fantastic because there's new technology that is helping uh, in the event of natural disaster and also fighting terrorist attacks. Absolutely. Um, what we have here is our first responders are uh, um, working in a scenario mm -hmm. that last week involved wildfires. This week it involves a terrorist attack here in San Diego. The equipment they're looking at is fairly new. It's being looked at by the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines, and other organizations, uh, state, federal, and local first responders. And what's really neat about this equipment is that it's a lot smaller, so it's a lot more mobile in the event of having to, to go out there. Absolutely. Everything from our communications equipment that we have right here, small mission planning computers, uh, small satellite communications equipment, uh, blue force trackers. This is what a soldier or first responder would wear at any location they were. And all what, what is a blue force tracker? Blue force is the friendly guys, okay. and this allows us to see where our guys are, so our commanders know where our people are at all time. Okay. And that commander can be anybody from um, a police officer in charge of a situation or a military commander in charge of a situation. Well, and how does it? Is that kind of like a GPS thing that they're tuned into, or how does that work? Rodney, I'll let you answer that question. Okay, Rodney, tell us how does this this thing work? Great questions. This is based on embedded GPS technology. There's a communication device embedded in, in this particular in, in this device here. Can we see it? Uh, you can't see it because it's embedded inside here, oh, okay. but I'll give you a demonstration. The other delivery point is on the G GPS based boots. Same communication device is embedded in here. We power it on. When a soldier's out in the field, they can hit a panic button. It sends off alert to a handheld PDA that the patrol leader is looking at, and he can measure the movement of his troops based on latitude, longitude, speed, altitude, etc. When they go in and out of a bunker, they get a lost signal those type of scenarios. So when they push this panic button right here, that, that enables them to basically say, look, we need somebody to know where we are and we need help now. Precisely. As a matter of fact, Sergeant Doug uh, uh, here has the PDA. He can show you. Okay. So this is uh, when they press that panic button, then they would get their location on here. I just Back pressed, at the headquarters. I just pressed the panic alert, Sergeant. Oh, okay. There, there it is. And I am able to bring up the details. This tells me where my individual is with the lat long, his battery life, and his condition. I'm able to click on this to clear after I've contacted him to make sure that his condition is stable. Otherwise, we would, would begin a rescue mission with the information provided on this. As you can tell, this is a real image of where we're standing right now. And so, Jay, let me get you in on this, too, as well. The, the fact that, that they can do this now and, and tell the condition of the soldier, where exactly they are, that seems like it's going to make a huge difference. Absolutely. And if we go over this way, take a look over here, what this does is feed back to our leaders and our command posts. Mm -hmm. We have a number of these different types of vehicles. This one is provided by the San Diego Harbor Police. And all the technology we have feeds back to our decision makers so they have to make an informed decision about what's going on out in the field. Okay, so a lot of interesting technology out here, Sandra. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to take you over to that uh, big truck and we'll get Jay to explain how all that stuff works as well. Back to you in the studio. Uh, it's great to get a firsthand look at uh, all of this, Lene. Yeah, and isn't that neat how they can have something on their boot that can send a signal back to headquarters and let them know, you know, exactly where they are and what's going on. Yeah. So, wow. yeah, that's going to be a big help. Amazing technology, GPS mm -hmm. tracking. All right, we'll see you in a little while and learn more. Okay. Thanks, See Lene. you later.